this this book is adjustable, so it should be fixed on the depending on the size of the chest of the patient. Let's see. Let's see. Make it. Okay. Make it small. Let's see. Let's see. So it should not be very tight, but not very loose. So it should be enough to have the patient because this. This belt will measure the movement oh, of the is. chest that corresponds to the respiratory effort. Okay, because this test we want to determine whether patients have what we call apnea. Apnea. Okay. Obstructive sleep apnea. So this one has to be in the center, and then the main device. Okay. We can. cable that comes from this one you connect either on top or at the bottom so it doesn't matter okay. okay so I'm just connected so this is the first step okay the chest there okay next is the Abdominal belt. Okay. Okay. Again, this is adjustable. Okay. And likewise, it measures the movement of the abdomen. Okay. So this one connects. From the main recording device, connects the chest belt, then the abdominal belt. So the movements of this one corresponds to the respiratory effort. Okay, because if there is apnea or hypopnea, okay, so the breathing also becomes lost and respiratory effort is lost. Okay, so next, this is all we're familiar with. Yes. Uh, oximetry. Okay. So, as we have said, oximetry, put in. So, either the, the pointing finger, index finger of the left hand, or the right hand. Make sure the wire on top, and then just put the plus. Okay. <coughs> so, as we all know, this measures oxygen and the right rate. Okay. So, one, two, three. Last step, four. So similar, how we put or how we place the how we place the nasal cannula, oxygen cannula. It's the same, except that this one does not give oxygen. No oxygen. Yeah, but it will measure the airflow. Again, if there is apnea or hypopnea, there is no airflow. Right? So all this corresponds to a signal, which tomorrow, okay, when you return this, we will download the data and use this. Okay. So to wear it. Of course, the two props inside. One side here. Okay. Another side. Butterfly technique. Okay, so same as goes with the symmetry, you put plaster here, better also to put small plaster here to secure it. So it will not because if it's off, I mean if it's dislodged, then we will not get air closing. Okay? So one, two, three and okay and then, so after connecting this one let the patient sleep 
This okay. is for how long to uh, minimum, minimum four hours. Minimum four hours. But keep it until patient wakes yes. up in the morning. Okay. And then tomorrow when the patient wakes up, just remove everything and then refer it, refer it to us. Okay. Oh. Patient is not on oxygen. Yes, okay, good. Because preferably of course without uh, oxygen. Alright? Today we have something now. <laughs> These are my colleagues actually. They are new respiratory therapists. Okay? So that's it. So at least minimum four hours. More would be okay. And then tomorrow just return it to us. We will download the data from the recording device. We'll see the signals, all of them. And then we will determine whether